Oh, it's Pastor Keith again with Morning Prayer for Wednesday, September 7th, 2022, coming to you from Christ Lutheran Church in Melalani Town, the island of Oahu, the state of Hawaii. And this is a reading again from 1 Timothy, the fourth chapter, again about uh, teachers and putting on the faith. If you put these instructions before the brothers and sisters, you will be a good servant of Christ Jesus nourished on the words of faith and of the sound teaching that you have followed. Have nothing more to do with profane myths and old wives' tales. Train yourself in godliness, for while physical training is of some value, godliness is valuable in every way, holding promise for both the present life and the life to come. The saying is sure and worthy of full acceptance. For to this end we toil and struggle, because we have our hope set on the living God, who is the Savior of all people, especially of those who believe. Teach, these are the things you must insist on and teach. Let no one despise your youth, but set the believers an example in speech and in conduct, in love, in faith, in purity. Until I arrive, give attention to the public reading of Scripture, to exhorting, to teaching. Do not neglect the gift that is in you, which was given to you through prophecy with the laying on of hands by the council of elders. Put these things into practice. Devote yourself to them so that all may see your progress. Pay close attention to yourself and to your teaching. Continue in these things. For in doing this, you will save both yourself and your hearers. The word of the Lord. We are in this together. We save both ourselves and others by devoting ourselves to the word of grace and faith in Christ Jesus. This is the Sarum prayer, also called the Salisbury prayer from about 1558 CE. God, be in my head and in my understanding. God, be in my eyes and in my looking. God, be in my mouth and in my speaking. God, be in my heart and in my thinking. God, be at my end and at my departing. Amen. And now may our mothering God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, order this day and your deeds in divine peace and justice. Amen. <laughs>